Next thing I want to talk about is dew point. It's the temperature at which water vapor in the air will condense into liquid water. All right. We all, if you've lived in Florida for any period of time, we're familiar with this concept, right? You take something cold out of the fridge, you'll start getting condensation on it. Because what happens? <clears throat> Remember the relationship between temperature and humidity. As the temperature goes down, relative humidity goes up. 60, 70, 80, 90, 95, 99, it gets to 100. 100% 100 is as much of anything as you can have. So if any of you are managers, and you like to tell your employees to give 110%, stop it. It's not mathematically possible. It just makes you look silly when you say it. Don't say it anymore. All right? So what happens? As we hit 100% and we would go theoretically past it, can't hold it anymore. The water vapor has to come out of the air and condense on something. We know this as condensation. We know this as a, a dew fall in the mornings. It has to come out of the air. All right, and we've all seen this before, right? We have a cold bottle of water sitting on a, uh, a table or something, and obviously somebody's kid put this out here because they didn't use a coaster. Mine don't ever use a coaster. So what I want to do is I want to actually demonstrate this, and I'm hoping I can get uh, Scott to help me out on this one. Okay, so <laughs> right up here, I've got a can of Diet Coke, all right? It's been sitting out all night it's at room temperature and Scott if you'd be nice enough to go grab me a cold one out of the fridge in the back because it's like 1 30. <laughs> cold diet coke Dude. I got that. grab me a cold one nobody thought okay all right while he's doing that yeah I was looking actually around this place you never know it's uh all right, now we've got a cold one straight out of the fridge. Okay, so what I need is a little bit of information, and I'm hoping Scott can help me out on this. Okay, he's got some of his equipment that we use at Vet Corps when we're actually drying out of the house. What's the temperature in here? 73 degrees. Okay. And I really should have checked this pen. All right, 73 degrees. And what's the relative humidity? It's 57%. Okay. Now, all we have to do is calculate dew point from those two pieces of information. Does involve a little bit of math, so I've got for you one CRC handbook of chemistry and physics, has all the formulas and constants that you're going to need, and a scientific calculator. Of course, considering your age, you might want the. Uh, yeah, you can bring it on. All right. Slide your. You actually, oh, right in the front, you know what this is? No. no. <laughs> <laughs> I've always had the young person who's like, what is no, that? I never saw that before. <laughs> what is that? It's a slide rule. It's what came before the calculator. Let me bring in the abacus. Abacus. Ah, yes, abacus. from ancient China. That's a good one, too. All right, so I'll give you a few minutes to sit and do the math and tell me what the dew point at 73 and 57 works out to. Okay, hold on. Just about there, slide rule, next page, calculate. I got a 56 degrees. 56 degrees. Okay, so the dew point in this room right now, the dew point temperature is 56 degrees. So I've got two cans of Diet Coke sitting out on the table. One has condensation on it, one does not. By definition, this can has to be above 56 degrees, because that's the dew point temperature. This can has to be below it. All right, that's my prediction. Scott, keep me honest. All right, that can is 73 degrees. Okay, well above 56 in that one. That can is 46 degrees. There you go. So that's dew point right there. 